When I was 24, I realized I was no longer 19 and I was afraid of 50. I started my mornings with hemp seeds, pecans, a pear, and a glass of water. I looked at the clock to see that it was 10. The next time I looked, it was 1.40. Helena is the capital of a state. In 100 years, Helena may no longer be a capital because Montana may no longer be a state. The name Helena may become extinct, and the woman whom Helena was named after, Patricia O'Connell Helena, the first economist to be granted tenure at Yale, will no longer be relevant. She's dead. Helena is dead. And eventually everyone who ever knew of a place called Helena will be dead. The internet may be dead. An apple will still grow on an apple tree in Helena years after Helena poofs and disappears. That apple is no different. It contains no less nutrients. Except nutrients are no longer called nutrients and pie is no longer made and pie is no longer a term that people know and understand. Goats and lions have never met. Whether you believe that is irrelevant because you are irrelevant. That statement is irrelevant because relevance is only relevant to a specific population. And a population is made up of individuals who, irrelevant themselves, are equal to an irrelevant sum. Zero. Zero is irrelevant. Nothing is irrelevant. Nothing is irrelevant. Pauses are irrelevant. Words like trees are oxygen. When you don't know what oxygen is, you know nothing of the influence of words. Being a human is much more than running fast. Like being a feather is much more than being discovered. Sleep is not a democracy, and it is not a mantra. It is neither plastic nor glass. It cannot break. It cannot burn. It cannot pollute. Sleep is salty, and at times sweet. And it is appreciated even when our knees are sore and our throats are stiff. There is no conclusion when it comes to sleep, because sleep doesn't care for our conclusions. And why would it? If you were a coyote and a rabbit kissed you on the paw, would you not bite? There are things we cannot challenge because they are not questions. And there are things that we don't like because they are rotten. And there are things that cannot hurt us because they don't exist. But soon enough, a coyote will die. A house will go up for sale. A 19-year-old will be accepted to Yale. A middle-aged woman will write a novel. An overweight uncle will eat a pie. A little boy in Arkansas will move to Helena and never leave. That's just the way the world goes, a teacher will say before her first stroke. My, my. American pie. Microsoft Word, Red Light, Green Light, the largest underground cave in the world, Native Americans, all rights reserved, the national anthem, everybody, sing along one last time, baby, baby. Life is about to get good. <laughs>